Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Warframe. I'm your host of the most, as always, Francois878. And in today's episode, we're going to be talking about the new Syndicate primary for the parent sequence, the Sakura Penta. I will also be showing off a little bit of a starter build for you guys, just to kind of get you guys headed in the right direction for building this weapon. Uh, now this is a very good weapon. It is a direct upgrade to the regular Penta for a number of reasons. It comes with uh, several, uh, three to be exact, pre-installed mod polarities, so you won't have to form the Sakura Penta quite as much. Uh, now, as far as actual stats go, uh, the Sakura Penta has a slightly higher blast damage. It has a larger magazine size at 7 grenades instead of 5. And it has double the fire rate, which is awesome. Uh, the Sakura Penta also procs the Sequence Syndicate effect, which deals 1,000 radiation damage in an AoE blast around you. It restores 25% of your shields and gives you a 50% shield boost for 30 seconds. Uh, not the best. Uh, <laughs> honestly, it isn't the best Syndicate effect in the game, but it's not bad. Uh, also, something that I can't confirm because the in-game stats don't um, have any evidence of this, but I feel like the Sakura Penta's grenades... Uh, clump together better. Uh, the gameplay that you're seeing is with a maxed heavy caliber, which normally when you use a maxed heavy caliber on a regular Penta, the grenades fly all over the place uh, because of the decrease in accuracy. But I feel like they clump together much better uh, with the Sakura, which is a good thing and a bad thing. You kill yourself less, but the overlapping of the grenade blast radius means it's not as efficient. Uh, now... What you see here is the pre-forma uh, build. This is what it comes with. It comes with one offensive mod polarity, one defensive mod polarity, and one utility mod polarity. Uh, I put two formas onto it. I got rid of the defensive mod polarity, and I added two more offensive mod polarities on there instead. I have a maxed heavy caliber, maxed serration, and maxed split chamber, obviously. Those are pretty much your go-to mods for any uh, primary weapon. Uh, I don't have anything in the 8th mod slot right now because I couldn't fit anything else on there that I wanted. Uh, as far as the elemental mods go, I went with two 90% uh, dual, excuse me, two 90% elemental damage mods and two 60% elemental damage, 60% status chance dual stat mods, uh, just to kind of buff the status chance a little bit, just to kind of guarantee if the uh, penta grenades don't kill whatever you shoot them at, they more than likely will have to deal with some kind of status effect uh, instead. Uh, now, as far as the the eighth mod, I would recommend if you want to put more than two forma into this weapon, I would highly recommend uh, Firestorm. This is the uh, unique weapon mod for explosive primaries that increases the blast radius by 24% at max. That is absolutely what you need to do. Uh, go with with the Penta. It uh, is becomes much better at killing groups. And just it, it's it does wonders in uh, against infested too because infested always group up. Uh, but overall, I really like this gun. I, I'm not a big fan of the Penta on account of I tend to blow myself up a lot. Uh, but the direct, uh, basically the fact that the Sakura Penta is a direct upgrade uh, to the regular Penta uh, makes it. Uh, uh, just a much better gun and much easier to use. Uh, plus, with the uh, pre-installed mod slots, you don't have to form it as many times, which is nice. Uh, which is a, a huge, huge plus uh, for me in this uh, for this weapon. Um, the Syndicate effect the sequence doesn't really interest me as much as it does uh, other weapons, but any little thing helps, honestly. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate it. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more. Uh, I have, I'm going to be doing a video on every single uh, Syndicate primary 
released in update 17.3. And if you haven't already checked them out, uh, feel free, because I also do kind of starter builds for them as well, uh, just to kind of get people headed in the right direction. I don't like to... You know, I feel like I have fewer arguments when I'm not telling people exactly how to mod their weapons. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys very much for coming and watching. I appreciate it. And we will see you in the next one. Until then, I've been your host with the most, Francois878, signing off.